Hey friends, I wanted to show off some super cool new tools I got. Uh, I want to thank my pops and my aunt for uh, uh, giving me some little birthday gifts. And I took advantage of heading on to uh, Lowe's. I picked uh, some of the stuff up, some of the stuff up, and some at uh, Amazon. But Amazon had a really nice three-piece set instead of buying them individual, so that was pretty cool. But what what my goal was is I just happened to be switching out my tool bag um, my tool bag lasted like 13 years can you believe that and i love this thing it reminds me of a good old buddy of mine dave from uh, des moines who taught me how to rivet and work with leather he made me cut this off one of my jackets and and use this on my tool bag to tighten it up so good times good memories it's good talking to you too on uh on my birthday there buddy but uh the i love having a you know tool bag it's in the truck. It's got the majority of stuff I need. I got screwdrivers. I got a socket kit in there. And then some metric and standard Allens. Uh, I got pliers. I got little side cutters, needle nose, some knives, electrical tape, jumper wires, uh, cable ties, uh, headlight lamp I see, uh, magnetic uh, rechargeable light in there. Who doesn't have one of these from Harbor Freight, right? Um, Stud finder, carpentry, hammer. This is just stuff more for home. Uh, but it's it's handy, right? You just never know. Sometimes it's a matter of pulling on the side of the road and help, helping someone else out. But anyway, I, I just cannot stand junk pliers. And I, I hate it, but for the limited amount of time that I use that, it's hard having my one of my favorite brands or Crescent brand uh versus just this junk stuff like this is a harbor freight one so i've been seeing these and a few years ago at the skills usa competition uh in kansas city i got to use these and they were just so cool for the the speed of adjustment and you just push a button had a really firm lock on there and then you could see once you pick your spot how much it'll move up and clamp down so I, I've had it on my wish list for quite some time to do the typical pipe wrench ones. And what I really wanted, what I was really after when I said, hey, you know, what do, I want, what do you want for your birthday? Is I was really like, you know what, I'm sick of this crap and I want to go to these uh, good ones with some, you know, good steel heat treated jaws and whatnot. And what you can do is for me, I'm always finding that I love a round set for pipe. And if I'm on some strip fasteners, I want this flat set to have the best opportunity. And then they make, uh, what are these, a little, I think, 8 and 10 inch was this set in the straights. And then the uh, three piece, 8, 10, and 12 for the rounded pipe. But then I'm like, what is this piece of magical tool? And I saw where they had straight, straight ones. I was like, holy cow. This one in particular, this is the one that's going in my tool bag. And this is awesome because, like I said, I have a socket set in the uh, in the truck. But just, just a couple weeks ago, I was out on the trail and wanted to adjust my chain. And I, I, had, I had one crescent wrench. I did not have what I needed to be able to hold one side. And then, or excuse me, I had one socket and I didn't have, um, I had channel locks, didn't have a crescent wrench to be able to hold the other one. I was like, no way am I going to booger that up. So I had to just uh, adjust it when I got back and didn't give me that flexibility. But look at this. Now I have nice, great flat edges that I can grab onto that, hold it, and then use my socket on the other side and do the work I need to do. What do you want to bet I did when I came back? too torqued it with a torque wrench but this emergency stuff like this this thing is way cool what i love about this is you can go out and do some hold work and you're not going to create a bunch of damage because you're grabbing the wrong tool i'm super stoked about adding these to my uh to my toolkit let alone uh finally having to replace that old one but Things break, things wear down. So anyway, that's what I am doing uh, tonight as I'm leaving uh, leaving here and heading home. I hope you're all being safe. It is lonely. We, uh, no visitors in our quarantine, so we are just um, pounding out curriculum like crazy for uh, drone company zipline. And just, man, can't wait to get back into the, the business of seeing people and 
being around a bunch of you folks. So I hope whatever you're doing, you're being safe and uh, you spend time with your family. Maybe you're enjoying that. So I'm rambling on, so I'm, uh, I'm going to let you all get back at it. You, uh, you be safe out there, and as always, keep wrenching, my friends.